Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are going to be trying out a bunch of new cards thanks to Wizards. I have early access. I get to play with all the new cards from March of the Machines uh, before it goes live in the next couple days. Uh, we are, we've been playing a bunch of different decks. Uh, we are now taking a look at a Boros Dragons, mostly mono red, but with some white cards because AO is the next best dragon and it gives us some value. Um, but we'll go through that and I'll kind of highlight some of the new cards, especially the new card type battles, which if you're not familiar, is a new, completely new kind of card as is Planeswalkers many years ago. Um, so the deck, we got dragons. Let's start with that. We got some Shivan Devastators. On turn two, three, four, gets gets our dragon engine going. Uh, we also have a Tushi, the Blazing Sky. Gets us some dragon value, gets some some card advantage, gets us some, some treasure with some sweet art. We got AAO uh, that lets us find other, other permanents. And then we got Tyrant of Kerr Ridges uh, that lets us blow stuff up. Really good target with Fable the Mirror Breaker to get some value out of that too. The last creature we have in the deck, it's, a, it's an honorary dragon. It's, it's like a little lizard. It's a Viashino. It's evolving eventually into a dragon. But this is to help us ramp. Um, if it dies early, it helps us get ahead uh, on mana uh, because we have a lot of four, five, six drops. Now, looking at the battles. So battles, how they work is you get to cast this first side. Uh, so in the case of Invasion of Tarkir, we, it, it enters the battlefield. We get to reveal from our hand any number of dragons. It deals X plus two damage to any target, where X is the number of dragon cards revealed. Uh, and then we can attack this on the opponent's side of the board. It's got, we got to deal five damage to this. And then once we do, we get to cast it on our side for the flip side, the Defiant Thunderma, uh, for zero mana. And then we get a Flying Trample whenever a dragon you control attacks deals two damage to any target. Uh, so there's some value there. We have Invasion of Ragantha. Uh, enters the battlefield, deals four damage to target battle or opponent, and one damage up to one creature. And then it flips to Prowess. Uh, if a non-creature source you control would deal damage to a creature or opponent, it deals that much damage plus two instead. So just a kind of scaler. We have Invasion of Karsis, which lets us uh, deal three damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. So some value there as well. Um, and then lastly, Fable the Mirror Breaker it helps us ramp, helps us copy, sorts out our draw, and then some Fateful Absence and play with Fire as removal as well. So we will give this a go, see how it plays out. We are live on YouTube today, um, but don't worry if you're catching this midstream or whatever, uh, this will all be curated. Every deck we've played today will be up on YouTube as standalone videos. Um, so far, the two decks I've liked the most are... Um, the Saltai draw to, as well as, what was the first deck I played? Uh, the Jun Battles was pretty fun. Playing the Nerdiest of Steves. So we can go Fateful Absence on two, potentially, and kind of go from there. Um, if you're new to the channel, swinging by for the first time, uh, we do a lot of content here. And um, we do a lot of meta content, if you like that type of stuff. I would suggest subscribing. Free, easy, helps out, and uh, gets you that much closer uh, to... I'm going to just kill this now, I think. They can get the value out of the graveyard. Um, we're trying to get to 10,000 subs, so greatly appreciate if you can. And as a reminder, for the month of April, all money I generate from YouTube revenue, I'm donating the entirety. Every penny that I make off YouTube, I'm donating to Toronto-based food banks. So like videos, watch videos, it all helps out the channel and helps us get closer. Um, I think we can get rid of you and probably you. So if I blitz, we get to draw a card and that gets us closer. Aziz, thanks for the, the sub. Uh, meta, uh, so they're cool, like battles. I think there's a varied degree. The Green Mythic one kind of sucks. The Tarkir one's really good. The Dragon side on the flip. You have to basically kind of value, is the creature you get worth foregoing 4 to 5 damage? The Jun Battles deck, I can show it in between games here. We played Glissa and the Dinosaur to get that value. Um, like so we were able to basically still attack our opponent by, while flipping our uh, sagas the green ramp one's actually pretty decent as well alright Steve get dragoned
And if Steve doesn't have an answer to Reflections or to Tyrant, I get to start copying it. Boo! Hands garbage now. Gonna hold this in case we draw another Fable. Okay, so Invasion of Alara. Until you reveal two non-lands, mana four vast, and you cast this without paying its mana cost. They get Reflection. That was pretty timely. Okay, so when this gets flipped... Uh, let's let them this side first. Unleash the Inferno is pretty nasty. Like, we're basically dead here. I need more card event. I think I'm going to get rid of these Riveteers, and I'm going to play the uh, the 4-mana Dinosaur. We have enough s Sagas, or uh, Battles, that could be worthwhile. It's a good target to copy as well. I just don't think this is doing enough on its own. So generally, I would concede at this point, but during early access, you usually try to encourage. So I'll just show how it kind of looks flipped. Not enough. Not enough. Let's tweak this a bit. This is a good thing. You can kind of see what works, what doesn't. Um, get rid of you. Dinosaur. So Rampaging Raptor gets us to flip. Can I just go mono red? Could probably. Okay. Hold up. I'm gonna switch this to mono red. I don't think it's worth. Uh, the ganjo is pretty good. It lets me play koth, but koth's probably not needed. Okay, let's give this another go. Let's see what the raptor change, if it makes a difference. Problem is, there's not like super great amounts of dragons. Unless we go... It might actually be better to go Rakdos, because then I can play the... I will try this. I don't love this, this deck right now. I think I want to tweak it. I want to try to find a land for Curve. So I can fateful whatever they do here.
Um. Think we do this? If they do like Lauren's escape, it's fine. Yeah. Is this like Boris Prowess? It's a good start for them. So we're going to take the damage. I can sweep with evasion. Invasion of Carcass. I think I might like Rakdos better. The removal spells are better as well. Ooh. Um. I should keep this because I'm going to need it if they have another Mentor. Get swept! And now if they go another like Monastery Mentor or something like that, I have some value. Flame Spoker. So decision here, I think we're just going AO. Because I'm not guaranteed the land. Okay, new plan. We are going to do this. The problem is like, they're all multicolored dragons. Like there's the Jeskai one too. That might be the... The one you're mentioning. Um, but they're all like weird color combinations or like four color and there's seven mana. Just like ridiculous amounts. Go AO next turn. AO start hitting these. Oh, I could have popped it so they don't get the scry. Big brain plays. So this is whenever you cast a spell, Refraction Elemental deals 2 damage to each opponent. So what I liked about the AO was that it can find us these battles. This is a cool card. Trample Ward Prowess Prowess. Maybe we try Jeskai. I'll take a look after this. So we'll do the battle here. You have Ward 2. So I say we just, you know, take our time. That's a very good draw. And that's a very poor flip from them. So I can actually use AO, cast AO. Get the counters on my things, and then I get to deal two damage. Look, it's better than Bolt. Nah, we want to go flash here. No! I wanted AO AO. I want to try Mono Red for a sec. We'll see what we can do with Mono Red. Uh, dragons. Uh, 
Flown. Mono red dragoon. It is like stupid hot in here. Okay. Cut. 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 Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, probably 25 lines. Do another view. You're the sweep one? Yeah, you're pretty good. And then maybe just like lightning strike. What can we play? We have lightning strike as an option. Obliterating bolt doesn't go. We also have like volcanic strike. We have smoldering egg. Let's try smoldering egg. And then it's probably just lightning strike. Let's try that. For record for reference, this was the Jun battle deck that we played. It was really fun. So like if we go Jun, then you or like Rakdos for dragons, you get this that forces them to sacrifice. You get you get some value that way. All right, let's go. Mono red dragons. Let's see how this one plays out. Playing Magic Noobs VIP. Not a great hand. Like, we need some mana, but... I think we, we tried it. Cave of Kolios. Well... This is going to be very good against uh, low to the ground. So it incubates two. Whenever a permanent you control transforms, put a 1 1. So this lets you pay two mana and it becomes a 2 2, basically the number of counters. Okay, so we're going to deal four. And then kill this Inquis Inquisitioner. Fortunately, battles don't like prop the Smoldering Egg, which is kind of sucky. But if we got draw land, we get to use this next turn. Okay, well, you need to die. Go, go, Dr Dino! So Dino is basically questing beast, but it hits planeswalkers and battles. Uh, haste, trample, and three mana we can pump into it. The invasion gives us a, another ping effect. I mean, at the very least, this is just a big dumb wall. The reason we're playing so many dragons is... Uh, untap's not going to work today until the new set comes up. Formally, um, because of tar the battle for Tarkir, we could reveal dragons, so you get some value that way. Bloated processor. So we'll deal three damage. Sweep their board. So I'm going to wait for them 
to sack everything. So they could have used Skrelf to give it protection from red. That should work. So you flip. So it will fl get you. They do have an incubator token for nine. It's quite large, um, but we can start doing. Scrub on hexproof. Yeah. Yeah, not protection. No, you're right. So they can make a 9-9 here, but now I just kind of play defense. Try to get this dino going. Oh, so you would just rather die. How's it going, Pizza Box? When are you uh, doing your stream? Any spell. Any spell one time. It's Lightning Strike Helix! Alright. Big dumb red things. Battles are cool. So I like when you're playing battles this way, like our dino kept being able to attack, which was really good. Well, if you pull anything good, you can uh, mail me some Atraxas in the mail. Uh, you could just, uh, I'll give you my address offline. Just foils, non-foils, regular. I, I only need three, so you could send those my way. Thanks to Magic Jank. <laughs> Today is literally the hottest day on record ever for April 13th. It is 29 degrees Celsius in April in Canada. Last week we had freezing rain. This week I am sweating beyond belief in here. Oh, we're playing Saffron Olive. Goes first. I think we're okay here. Maybe Mulligan. I'm gonna keep. The battles have been cool. Um, been kind of underwhelmed with like the mythic ones. to find lions but like a lot of these utility ones finding lions um it is very easy to cast the tracks up uh, well that looks fun just triple six drops um i was playing basically mono green atraxa i was playing salti draw two atraxa we're gonna do five color domain atraxa Need to get some value here. I kind of wanted the Tarkir one just to show Seth how ridiculous my hand is. Ah, uh, sadness.
Thank you. Probably has removal spell here. It's gonna be unleash the inferno. Invasion of Innistrad. So looking to get the dinos going. Very similar to the deck I played earlier today. Jesus. Um, let's go defensive mode. Yeah, James, I played. That was my first uh, deck I played this morning. It's up on uh, YouTube, that one there. It's actually pretty solid. Like the Juns. The, I'll show you my list as well. That was the first one I played. This card's really good at filtering and finding you stuff. The, the black green one is good. Sorry, the black red one because it forces the sack. You play the Dino as well for value. So we'll reveal... Go face here, so he could make another We'll go for the double block here. So I could upkeep do that. I can do this to pop it. I have a couple options. Boo! Hates fun. Hates fun. Um, I think we just get the dragon going. We've gotten sixteen cards. We've seen four. Four. What do you do? Just the deal three one. I mean, we try to race. Holy shit, we drew a land. Think here. We just do this. And then I can kill them that way. He's dirtled a lot.
Okay, so he gets his invasion attack here. Cast that, gets indestructible. I need a land. This is to any target. I think we try to go for lethal. Got him! Got him! Dragon burn! This is my version of the deck, James, if you want to kind of get an idea. Okay, I don't care about knockout blow. So we have, uh, so the, the big ones, he went all uh, sagas, but I went uh, Rampaging Raptor and then Glissa could remove counters as well. Uh, and then just the, the Blood Tithe Harvester is removal. Um, the deal for Saga might be better than the Blood Tithe Harvester, all things considered. Um, but like the mythic ones, the ones like that, weren't that good. Guys, this Mono Red version is actually doing these. He spent too much time dirtling, not enough time killing. The big thing with the battles, the ones you can kill with four are a lot easier because of the dinosaur than the ones that are five. Uh, this hand does nothing. Let's try. <laughs> okay, lightning strike's good. So I can go the egg here. Hellish Narn. Kill you. Well, we're a burn deck, and Elish Norn's just gonna absolutely roast us. That means opponent does not have a Ganjo. Oh! Make it stop! Instead, I gotta do this one. This card just like single handedly destroys me. So can Zan. If a non-creature source you control deal damage to a creature or battle or opponent, it deals that much. Plus. That kills me. But I need to get Elishnorn off the battlefield. So, here we are! They play another creature, I'm dead. Uh, 
No! Okay, play that. We survived, but at what cost? The opponent didn't deal a single point of damage. I did everything to myself. Nuts. Nuts! No, I need that fable. Alright, go Raptor! Go Raptor! We got pumps next turn, we got a whole bunch of goodies. Just no Elish Norn. Good game! Alrighty, we did it! Elish Norn, what a card. 17 damage. But they needed 20.